Hello and welcome to the module 1, fourth video, Process Control. Here you will learn how to execute your program in a scheduled time so you don't have to execute it manually. It will execute automatically when you specify. In remote operation, you are not present to execute your program. You want the program to be executed at specific times or only one time when the Raspberry boots up. We will explain two tools to do this. The first one is Chrome and CronTab used to run our program at specific times. And the second one is Bash RC used to run our program when the Raspberry boots. Let's start with Chrome and CronTab. Cron is a system daemon, a program that runs in the background it is used to execute the desired task at designated times. A crontop file is a simple text file containing a list of commands meant to be run at specific times. As we can see here in the screen. We have this file this program to be executed at specific times. A crontab file is edited using the crontab command. The commands in the crontab file are checked by the cron daemon which executes them in the system background. Each user has a crontab file. The cron daemon checks a user crontab file regardless of whether the user is actually logged into the system or not. To use Chrome, add entries to your own user's crontab file. To edit the crontab file, enter crontab-e and you are prompt with this file. Each line has five time dead fields followed by a command followed by a new line character. The fields are separated by spaces. The five time and date fields cannot contain spaces. These five time and date fields are as follows. We have minute from 0 to 59, hour from 0 to 23, day of month from 1 to 31, month from 1 to 12 or you can write January, February, March, etc. The day of the week from 0 to 6 when 0 means Sunday. For example, the line in the field, this one over here, we run this sum command at 4.01 a.m. on January the 1st, plus every Monday in January. Use the Crontab Guru to easily configure your scheduled tasks. Let's see an example. We open our terminal and we write Crontab E and we are The file is displayed, we can write here any command that we like. For example, this one we can put here to five to whatever and write, write whatever command that we want, even the Python command. Okay. If we save the file it will start running immediately. Okay, let's have more examples. Comma separated values can be used to run more than one instance of a particular command within, within a time period. Okay, so for example here, we want to execute 
the minutes 1 and 31 or here the time is our hours 4 and 5 dash separated values can be used to run a command continuously so this means from day 1 to day 15 in the first example the program will run from the first day to the 15th day of January and June at 401, 431, 501 and 531 an asterisk can be used so that every instance, every hour, every weekday, every month, and so on, of a time period is used. The second example will run all days of the year at 4.01. 4.01. Every day of the month, every month, and every day of the week. You may want to run a script some number of times per time unit, for example, every 10 minutes. For example, if you want to run it, this every 10 minutes, we use the third ground up entry that runs a minutes divisible by 10, 0, 10, 20, 30, etc. We have here. This is also equivalent to the more cumbersome line, this one. So these two are equivalent. Once you save the file it is automatically configured and your task will automatically run at the specified times. Please make sure that your program terminates before it is executed next time. There are several solutions to execute a file or a script when the Raspberry boots. For example, we can write our problems in the RC local, in the init there, and also in bash RC, that is the one that we will be using. Please be very careful because if you execute something at the startup of the system, you may lose control of your Raspberry because no terminal may appear. That could be dangerous with this and this. With bash RC, you will not have that problem because you can cancel the task executed by pressing Ctrl C. Ctrl C. The bash RC file is a script that is executed whenever a new terminal session is started. This is what happens when you open a new terminal window or when the Raspberry boots up. This bash RC file contains a series of configurations for the terminal session. This includes setting up or enabling coloring, completion, shell history, common aliases, and many more. The bash file starts with a dot, so it is hidden. Okay, so it is always with a dot. Okay. To display it, you should use ls okay dot asterisk to display all hidden files in a directory you can edit the bash rc file with a text editor or in the terminal with a nano editor writing this nano dot bash rc and then you can include at the end of the file whatever you want to execute for example this instruction to execute your pi file with python if you have to do several tasks you can write a script save the file and the next time the raspberry boots your file will be executed for example which if we are in our home directory, you can write nano and the text is displayed. As you see, there are a lot of configuration files. Okay, but we just have to go to the end 
not touching anything and write whatever we want to run okay or you can execute also a script like this okay so in this lesson we have seen how to execute our program at specific times either at the booting time with bash rc or at the specific times of the day month or year with crontab with this we finish our first module i hope you have enjoyed <laughs>